Yo, GameBro here, along with someone who's joined me since the beginning. Go to the pool, six up. We're going to continue through that monastery of whatever it is, because I have no idea what to describe in the background. Do you? Whoops, um, trippy, a bit, um, that's not the door I'm supposed to go through, I guess, um, we're in Mammon's world right now. It's trippy and a bit spooky. What can we say? The floating monastery. Because Mammon is supposedly the final boss, the world yeah. of Mammon. There is no map for the world of Mammon. I didn't think so. Just making sure. Okay. Was I able to open that door? I just was facing it the wrong way or something. Because I could have sworn that door. They suck at silencing you. No kidding. <laughs> oh, there's the door right to the left. I think I tried to get down there before, but I couldn't. And I'm just going in circles already. What a way to start apart. Oh, I was able... Well, I wasn't able to see it. Um, and I thought from, like, you know, the last part, Celine's Bell saved me from those enemies with Fireball Level 3. Here's another trippy area, but this one, you don't face any enemies. Well, this one, it has a floating house. What's up with that? <sighs> well. Weird house in the middle of nowhere. They want to scare the hell out of you. Oh, wait, that's not a house. That's just a random building. If you ever played that Game Boy Advance version, there's a lot more background story to everything. Uh, it shows that um, Brian actually talks in the Game Boy version, and um, there's more characters that join you on your quest. Never played it before. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna assume it's a pretty rare game. There was this. Definitely mind trying it sometime, though, maybe even doing a walkthrough of it in the future, but no promises. Well, it is bright, the backgrounds are colorful, and pink and such. Like my mentality. And of course, you cannot go up the side of a ramp. Yeah. Snap. Freaking pinheads. Never will I try to finish him off again. Nope. Uh, fire. Such deadly enemies. But it's nothing running from battle and healing can't fix. It's like a pond of blood or something. I don't know, isn't this from one of the forests you were in? <laughs> um, you can use the escape spell. Oh yes, it's right Tom. It's kind of a waste now. I think they do use some reused areas um, in Mammon World. Pale Rider. And they hurt a lot too. Um, magma ballness. Half of them misses. How disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, anywho, onwards. 
I haven't really physically attacked enemies in a while. What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. In this world, the dark evil is judgment and scrimmage. Hmm. I don't know where this was. Uh, do you? I don't remember. Um, just running around an empty place. Um, going back up the same door we came. Now we're in somewhere completely different. With some background, he seemed like a girl's room or something. I swear this part scared the hell out of me when I first played it. Judgment. Judgment Day. Uh, yeah. And they just rotate, they don't really like walk towards you. Um, Yeah, let's try and finish those things off. Uh, so that's what they also do. Hot steam. Can't physically dodge that attack. No. Ah. Uh, there's no fading it. Just having to heal bit by bit. Well, you can. You can during his MP, yes, he um, can do anything. He can still grind on judgments. It's, um, drain magic. It will work. Okay. Very good. I didn't even do much. They're like, uh, weird statues from Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels. Uh, uh, it seems they have, um, rock level three as well. That way you can dodge easily. Then again, it's always been the case for, like, enemies throwing at least rock level two towards you. You can easily dodge. You say there's nothing to collect here? No spirits or anything? No. I see. No spirits. Not even in the last area. Not even any treasures. No spirits, no treasure. Final destination. This actually is the final destination. Um. No spirits, no treasures. You don't have to worry about anything. Surrounded by mountains. This has gotten really weird within the last 20 or so minutes. I don't know what to say about that, but okay. Okay, um. Magma Ball. Abusing a spell like no tomorrow. Oh jeez. Yes. Um. Oh. Man. Once I get to a save point, I'm just gonna stop recording. Um. I've been playing this for quite a while now. Now I need to. Be, now I need to rest when I can. Aha. Uh -huh. Miss. A golden amulet, because I use that one. Um, I may as well use so, up those items. Why the hell not? What's wrong with and me? I set the final boss. Every single one of them.
And I swear we're actually going to go through this area once again. Um, before I get to this mammon thing. Open. We're back on the ship. So greeny. Haven't we been here before? This is why you don't rush video games. Ah, uh, THQ, imagine you. Enjoy every last moment of that. Am I right? Yeah. It's like the exact same design as the other place before. This song's actually kind of a remix of, for like the second half of Biggest Castle. Um, at least I can't complain about the tracks in this game. Here's a Pona. I've been I waiting for. Really, this is the last place where someone might come in and raid from this point. Yeah, yeah. This is the very last place. Where someone might come to your aid. That's right. Um, you say yes, And I'm gonna call the part. See him. This is Game Bro. 